Hey guys, welcome back to another diecast video. This is a 124 scale car here. This is one that I've actually hung on to for months. Haven't done a review on it yet. There is only one other person I can find on YouTube that has actually done this car, which is cool. Um, anyway, this is Travis Braden's 2017, pro obviously promotional car. Um, the West Virginia University, one of 500. So it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I, I got this back in the winter time, so I don't know if these are still available, but at the time I got it, this was still readily available on, uh, Travis Braden's own store, uh, online, so, and it is autographed in two places, you can probably tell already, it's autographed on the box, and of course I'm going to unpackage this, and it's you can't even tell, but it's also autographed on the car as you would normally see. So it's cool. Um, you know, and this came autographed, obviously. Um, but like I said, it was available on the site back in the wintertime when I got it. I don't know if it still is. Um, but if it is, check it out if you're interested. It's a pretty cool promo car. As you can see, the box, of course, is custom as a lot of promos are. Travis Braden 01. If you can't tell, this is an ARCA car. I don't know if I said that yet. There is no render of the car here or anything. Standard finish. Um, on the top, picture of Travis 01. Uh, his name, there's the autograph again. West Virginia logo. Then here, have West Virginia logo, Travis Brain 01. Normal on that side. On the sides is, you know, the same. As you would normally have in any box. Um, they have the nice... Um, West Virginia color scheme. You have the blue, you have kind of like a shadow effect. Blue, white, curved stripe, yellow, another blue, and then yellow background. Then you have, you know, some more stripes going everywhere. White stripes, yellow stripes, kind of have white in the background of him. And then the yellow, white, blue, white pattern on each side there. So anyway, with that out of the way, um, I guess let's uh, open this up. Can I actually do this with one hand? Wow. Now I have opened this up before, just to see, you know, what's inside and everything. So, as usual, when I do these 124 scales, I do unscrew it beforehand. I don't think there's anything in the box. You have, like, the Lionel Garage card... But because it's just a standard thing, there's nothing that actually that's worth looking at. So all that goes over there for now. So anyway, here is the car. As I said, this is a promo car. Only available on Travis Braden's website. Um, not really sure how dust even got on the car. You saw me wiping some off. No idea how that's even on there because it's been the, in the box. So... Anyway, this was one of 500. Let's just get the DIN number out of the way. This is number 28. And um, you see the signature here on the car. Pretty cool. Um, and I believe that because he's mainly in, you know, an ARCA driver, um, that this is probably the only die cast so far uh, made for Travis. I don't think any others, I don't think there's ever been an official release. Um, and as far as my research goes, um, this is the only car at all that's ever been produced. And actually it took me, you know, cause like there, there's this, uh, diecast registry website. This car isn't even on there. Um, or at least last time I checked, it wasn't even on there. I actually, actually how I found this car is just cause I was curious about this. Cause I just thought about the paint scheme one day. So I looked it up in Google images and an image came up that was a Lionel render. So I clicked on it and I led to, was led down a path that led me to his website and found this. So, you know, it was kind of lucky that I even found out about this. <laughs> like, I don't think many people even know about this. But uh, anyway, so the paint scheme, um, I would say it's mainly yellow. You have the hood that is all blue. The roof is all blue. You know, everything's blue. The A post, B post, C post, the whole top of it. Then the real design is basically on the side. You have this kind of spike almost. Comes up blue, ends there. Has uh, some white on top. 
and then a little one there as well. Then you kind of have, I guess, basically the same design, just a little bigger down below, going through the number, through the tire a little bit. Like I said, it's the same exact um, decal there, placed twice, although this one's a little bit bigger. And that's really the paint scheme. <laughs> There's not much else. Um, I wouldn't say it's a simple paint scheme, but it's easy to describe anyway. And then, of course, this is, I, I guess, I mean, I'm not really um, up to date. I don't really know all the terminology for the different kinds of molds, but I guess this is what people call the gold series because really only the hood opens, uh, not the roof flaps, not the uh, trunk, but there is the cloth window net. There is the moving front tires, no suspension or anything, just plastic and stuff underneath. So, um, yeah, and it's the wrong spoiler, by the way. This is just a random short red spoiler when it should be. Hold on. It should be this. This is uh, now. I know this is 2017. This is 2018, but same spoiler. You know, this is what it's supposed to be. Um. So is it? Yeah, it is. Um. You have on the front Menards and on the back General Tire. And it's supposed to be like obviously big enough to actually put those sponsors in here. It's just non-existent. So. Um. Anyway, that's comparing to another ARCA car, obviously. Um, under the hood, I know I'm doing things out of order than I normally do. You have your engine detail. Honestly, a little bit better engine detail than what you would get today. You see some things are actually painted and stuff. Um, underneath, you just have a Chevy logo, which is what a lot of them have. Um, you have the numbers that are all white with the blue and yellow and black outline. Um, you have West Virginia on the hood, the Highlands, Quaker Steak and Lube, Best Wings USA, remember, the Miners.org, America's uh, real source of energy. It's always cool seeing like random small sponsors on ARCA cars when they actually get die casts. Colbin Sun Excavation, Stony Hollow Tire, uh, Braden's A1 Towing and Collision, you just have West Virginia here on the B post, C post, Matheson, Ask the Gas Professionals, and actually read all these too, which is good a lot, sometimes they're so small you can't read, on the back, West Virginia University, on the deck lid, Matheson, Ask the Gas Professionals, and nothing on the roof, but uh, really cool car, and of course here you have general tires here. You actually have the West Virginia logo in front of that as well. Almost forgot that. Um, but yeah. Here's your interior as best as you can see right there. Just normal stuff there. You know, normal Alliano. But um, yeah. And actually these contingencies are different too. Let's say I don't usually touch on contingencies. But uh, look at these. K and K Home Builders, uh, Platinum Express Stop. Actually, I don't think these are contingencies. Does Arca? Hold on, sorry, I have to um, consult this again. No, they they do have contingencies because that that has it. Um, I don't really have any other one. Oh, I do. Okay, so yeah, this is a. Uh, 2017 and it has normal contingencies and actually this has the wrong spoiler too this has the short spoiler but it's also again a promo that was a promo for federi auto parts so basically the 2017 arca cars were all promos <laughs> at least the ones i have um but yeah these actually seem like real sponsors down here though wheeling auto body hlc uh what? truck and co uh, Sparky's Auto Spa, the Lube, um, F and E. Trying to read that. Elm Grove Eagles of 1891, A.D. Baker, Economy Auto Sales, stuff like that. That Those actually, even though they're in the place of contingencies, I think those are real, um, sponsors there. So, uh, but anyway, I should wrap this up. Actually, one more thing. This is a 2017 car, but it comes in a 2018 box. Just a fun fact. But um, anyway, that's uh, that's it for this video. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.